homemade chicken and dressing made in the ninja combi quick and easy let me show you how we did it so we're going to start off by making a cornbread that we're going to cook in the combi if i were cooking this cornbread for us to eat with a meal, I would definitely do this in a cast iron skillet in the oven, but for a dressing, we don't need that good crust because we're just using it for the dressing. So what I've got in this bowl is two cups of cornmeal, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. And we use the powder in the soda because normally we would, I would be using a buttermilk but i am out of buttermilk so i'm using regular milk but i'm just going to go in with two eggs but i do have several cornbread videos check those out and then i'm also going to add about three quarters of a cup we'll mix that up and see what it looks like i've got two eggs there but one egg would be enough but i've got plenty of fresh eggs so we're adding two eggs there I almost forgot the butter. I'm going to grate in about three tablespoons of butter. If I were making, again, if I was making this to eat with the meal, I'd put about five tablespoons. But I'm only, we're going to have that rich broth. So I'm going to grate about three tablespoons of butter into that. That just makes it incorporate in that cornmeal a little easier. But you could mix it in with a pastry knife or a fork and again you would normally do that before you added your wet ingredients but <laughs> I had it sitting right there and forgot I'm gonna add a little more milk and again you could use any cornbread recipe that you'd like this is just the way I do it so that's about the consistency that I'm looking for of course, fresh meal corn produces the best. Check out that blue corn video. So I've got this little Instapot pan that I bought off of Amazon. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. It fits in the Ninja Combi. And we're just gonna, that pan was buttered. It is a non-stick pan, but I also buttered it just so it doesn't stick. So we're gonna take this to the Combi. I've got one cup of water down in the bottom of that pan. And I'm going to set this pan right inside that one. We're going to shut the door. We're on Combi Crisp. And I'm going to take that down to, to 350. And I'm going to take it to about 22 minutes. and hit start. So that timer timed out, and again, I'm not looking for a crust, I'm just looking for it to be done. And as you can see, it is, so I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna let it cool. So now in the bottom of the combi pan, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil, and I've got about a pound of chicken breast Chicken thighs would be better here. I do have a speedy version of this where I air fried some bone in chicken thighs and use. You could use rotisserie and you wouldn't have to cook the chicken, but this is just what I have, so I'm using what I have. And so I'm just gonna season that with just a little bit of salt and pepper. And just a little bit of thyme, that's optional. A little bit of thyme. And then I'm just gonna stir that up. We're also gonna put the vegetables in here in the speedy version. I also seared the vegetables after cooking the chicken, but we're gonna do it all in one step. So what I've got here is one small onion, about two stalks of celery 
and about a quarter of a bell pepper. I typically like green bell pepper in my dressing, but yellow's all I had, so that's what I'm using, and about three cloves of garlic. And then we're gonna season those vegetables as well, just so every layer has some seasoning. A little pepper. And I'm also gonna add a little water in here and I'm gonna pour in, that's about a cup. Let's see what that looks like. I think that's probably gonna do it. You could add broth here, but I'm using a homemade stock that's real rich and we're gonna have the eggs mixed in with that cornbread. So you could add a stock here and we're not looking for color on that chicken. We're just looking to cook it. And it doesn't even have to be cooked all the way through because we are gonna bake that dressing, but we're just looking to cook that chicken and soften those vegetables. Gonna go into the combi. We're on combi meals. And we're actually gonna do 400 and Let's do 12 minutes. So here, while that chicken is cooking, I have crumbled that cornbread, and I've also got about a cup, cup and a quarter of breadcrumbs. These came out of the freezer. You don't have to use breadcrumbs. Most people use bread and toast it, but I had these breadcrumbs in the freezer I needed to use. Sometimes I just do straight cornbread, but because I had the breadcrumbs. I'm just going to add that into the mix. And we're just going to mix that together. And then right in that center, I've got three eggs. Right. So I'm starting with four cups of broth here, and I'm going to add about half of this, which would be about two cups. And I'm going to start mixing it in and and see what it looks like. So I'm liking the way this looks and we've still got to add it to the chicken in the pan which may have a little bit of moisture in it. So as you can see, it's not dry but it's not real soupy. And to this, three to five green onions, depending on how much green onion flavor you want in it. So I'm just gonna mix that in, and then we're going to mix it in the pan with the chicken to see if we need to add any more broth before we bake it. Check out that video for the homemade bone broth. So you can see that that chicken has cooked up. I am gonna add just a little bit of this broth, quarter to a half a cup right there. And then I'm going to dump this cornbread mixture right into those vegetables and chicken. And try my best to combine it in this pan without making a mess. So I added the rest of that. So what I've got is four cups of liquid, but again, depending on how much breadcrumbs, how many eggs you added, and then I'm gonna put just a pinch of salt because most everything has been seasoned in layers as we went. So just a pinch of salt and a little bit more pepper, and then we're gonna stir that all up and bake it. A little bit of pepper. So you can see we've just about got that all mixed up and you see how there's plenty of liquid in there. It's not soupy, but again, we do not want a dry dressing, but I've about got it all incorporated. So we're gonna go to the combi and as you can see, this is a pile of food. Uh, dressing does freeze really well. So if you make it at the holidays and you have it left over, or if you wanna make it early, so let's go to the combi and bake it.
we're going to do combi bake. Three fifty, and I'm gonna set it on thirty minutes, but probably gonna be about twenty five minutes. But let's let's set it on thirty two minutes. I always set it longer than what I anticipated. That way, it'll continue to cook, and you can ensure that it has enough time to cook. So let's see how long it takes. So we're down to about five minutes. Let's have a look. As you can see, that started to brown up nicely. So let's take it over here and let it cool just a minute and we'll take a look at it. That's a pretty pan of chicken and dressing cooked in the Ninja Combi. Look at that. I'm gonna have a taste of that. Like and subscribe now to see more videos for quick and easy meal prep. Absolutely delicious. I have yet to find a meal that the combi cannot complete. Homemade chicken and dressing made in the Ninja Combi, quick and easy. Let me show you how we did it. 